Hello, I am Fjallsbeck and welcome to Europa Universalis. Last episode we ended with uh, sort of deciding to go to war against these guys. They are in a war, we have allies that we will want to bring in. And these guys I want to give them land, that should be fine if I get a province or two from this side. I don't mind that really, if I get the soldiers involved. So, um, let's uh, get going. Oh, I didn't actually consider the war goal, I just took something, right? Artakan. Yeah, I should have taken one of these and one of my uh, cores, actually, one of these two. Uh, you're next to the fort. Fair enough. Right, so we have a smidgen more troops combined. Oh, and one thing I should do also is war taxes. I can siege this area out first. And I want to take as much of it as I can, and then back to these three provinces. Uh, there comes their huge army, and they are sort of mashed together. And okay, they're gonna win here, my friends, hopefully. Can't get to them, can I? Nope. There is an issue though. These guys are gonna stay close to me at least. Hopefully. Alright, my allies won here at least. There's also that uh, situation of uh, aggressive expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Exploration done. Run a day, and then I, they should be able to go on a new mission. Let's take the one from the top Southwest Pacific Sea. Fantabulous. Mongolia shows that no religion as a Socratic faith. Okay, and we occupy here. They occupy there, so I guess we're gonna go for the war goal next. Sabir loses, darn it. Yeah, I wanted to keep you in this war a bit longer. Hey, we can call someone else in. Kiva, these guys, cult arms. Get in, Walt. Can they call in their allies? They probably can now. They haven't so far. Don't know if they have any eligible allies. Right, our guy here is now the ruler. They have a lot of forts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight forts just mushed together here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forts even. That is a lot. Right, so a new heir. Uh, we want to gain devotion, I think. There's one that gives us 10 devotion, and that is you. I think that's the one we'll go for, actually. Uh, unless the uh, uh, estates is really hurtful to us, but it isn't, it looks like. Clergy gain some, they're under 50, and nobility will go down to under 50 instead, so this should be alright. 334, that's, cool. that's all quite alright. And you, can I gain a general here? 40 tradition, they will gain 20 influence. They'll bring him to 70, uh, 
76 so that should be under the thing here let's do this can you siege this out and then look at the general because then we can actually appoint him one for one at least he has siege but no no that is not really fantastic and i guess i'll have our air go in here that looks way better actually granted he has one less in the shock phase but other than that he's awesome compared to the other two so you head in but they were a great power okay Midas touch that was our air right right spy network construction fair enough so that plus two siege let's hope that helps us to siege them forts down gold gold all right conquer something or the Kent or whatever this is called okay I don't know where that is exactly I T A K right ah here hmm can get diplo points but these guys mush Mashara, uh, where are you at? That is you guys. Yeah, let's do that one first, I think. Rival of arrival. Uh, improve relations, you go right ahead. You are fabricating on these guys, yeah. So if I'd waited, then I would take in this province as well. Oh well, foreign military expert. Lose a lot of money, gain a general with a hundred tra tradition. A hundred tradition, so the best level tradition we can get. I'll go for it, even though our guy that we have, I'm quite happy with him, but, but you know, hundred. Three, two, three, three. Yep, that is awesome. Are they coming at us? Where are you going to? They're going to here. I need to move one guy out, take the general, and come on back in with him, right? Or I just actually do something else. Hire a single mercenary here. Hopefully he does not get squashed. Hopefully you're ready to reinforce if they attack us. Right, you. Take this awesome general. And head here. Go. Oh, you have to go that way. Really? Can't get this way? You can, potentially. They're going in here. Someone's coming at us, that's these guys. Okay, now you can walk straight in. These guys, are they gonna go reinforce? So when I do this, it should be this guy, and indeed it is. And you are hopefully gonna move. So these bonuses here, hopefully they will definitely be enough here for us. I revolt. Okay. Okay, we beat him there. They're now coming at us. You are heading in to reinforce. Our morale is quite low though. 
Come on, get in here. Get in here. Ah, darn it. Darn it. Who are they attacking? Ah, oh, great. Okay, these rebels are going in here as well. All right, so what are we actually looking at in our numbers? We can actually have one more at least, so we'll hire a few more mercs, I guess. Hey, we got a revolt right on top of their army. Fantabulous. So why wear each other out? Fortunately, we are not here to uh, attack as soon as this battle is over. Ay, 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 that's a lot of people we need to reinforce here. So I think we are gonna go a bit in on Mercs. Maybe not a lot in, but a bit in. Uh, here. Uh, three, uh, four, and five. Let's do that. And you head here. Oh, Lahore has joined in here. Guess we're going to see if we can actually interrupt them. They lost a fair amount of soldiers as well in the fight against the rebels. That is good. Right, we are taking loans, but that is to be expected. Okay, Mongolia is just being torn apart. Like this core here. Wait for the other guys to arrive. Exploration done. You head in and do something else. Excellent. Granted, we're suffering a lot of attrition right now. Good, so this siege looks like it might be going real fast. These guys I don't like, so we need to dislodge them. Um, we should maybe help out these guys if they get into a fight. Okay, these guys have been converted. Fantabulous. There we go next. We keep an eye on where all these guys are going and what they're do going to do. Probably want to go. They want to go for these guys, I imagine. Merv declares the Mongolia. Hmm. Yeah, they're indeed going for those guys. They're just going to get stomped upon. Imagine they will. Actually, these guys are heading in as well. Can I get there fast? Guess we will have to go. And if you... Oh, you're following as well. Okay. Come on, get there. Ah, the other guy's lost already. Oh, both set of troops lost. No. No, I didn't think both would lose. Come on, win this. 
excellent. Infantry combat ability. Um, right, are we just sieging down this one instead? Or are we heading back here? Nope, I think we're heading back here. Guys, here, I really need to dislodge you. How much war score do they have against us? Four points. Right, okay, that'll be sorted once this is done. Right, you. Let's explore with you here. Go there. Still on good amount power, that's all fantastic. They're down to medium. We have them beat in troops currently. Yeah, I would like to take a fair amount of money out of them as well. Well, there's really a lot of ways I want to hurt these guys. Uh, yeah, more war taxes, that is indeed the case. Okay, they're back. Yeah, war exhaustion is high, but that'll just have to be. They're going in here. That is all right by me. If I can get this siege done, that would be fantastic. Before we actually go and clear Mari once more. Baghdad is siege, but I haven't taken their capital. But since it's only a capital fort, this province won't revert back to them. Which is a bit unfortunate. They're actually going for my rebels. And then going to take over the siege. At the positive war, war score, I guess. Come on, if this siege can go, yeah, they do. The siege can go now, no. Well, at least I got rid of the rebels. Are they going to succeed now? No, good. You want to succeed and go and attack him. It's probably not going to happen though. Nope, okay. We have a new tech here, the diplomatic one. Anything else I really want to do with this? Um, how are we doing here? How oh, we can actually embrace this and get this one to uh, the way cheaper price. If we can get 300 coins. Which means we will take two loans. Ah, this is going to hurt our economy. But we need to do this so we can get to save the Diplo points here. Embrace. Then we embrace or take this particular tech here. We get a military tech as well. Excellent. Which means we'll get better cavalry. They're not going to threaten us immediately, so it should be alright. And the same with the cannons. Right. They'll probably get succeed in the uh, siege here, though, right? They should, really. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so that which gives us another chance. Right, so we got to military tech nine, was it? Ten, and they are at... Nine, okay, so we are one ahead now. That will also help. Okay, we got the siege. 
So let's head on down and see if we can dislodge him before something, uh, before they succeed. I mean, okay, we lose production. Okay, we're out of manpower. Well, they didn't succeed this time around either, so we will actually get there. And we will be the defenders, and it is mountains. And we have uh, our friends with us as well. Diplo points, fantastic. Conquer Ushkend. Who are you? They're not there. Here. Uh, that's a bit awkward territory, especially since we haven't connected Tashkent to anything. So let's not do that. 100 admin for having 50 prestige. Let's try that one. Take a while before we get there. Army is under attack. They have a minus two going. They roll on eight though. Okay, seven, seven, and we defeated them right there. Okay, still a lot of force for them, or for us to unseize rather. I'm gonna clear out these ones, that guys here, or are we gonna go for the next fort? Uh, let's head this way, I guess. This is wasteland, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, you're not gonna siege down my capital with those kind of numbers. Don't know where you're going, you're going up this way probably. So here, maybe. Right, so we're actually going through my territory, <laughs> or the true territory I'm in. Right, a council of their own tastes. Gain a skill, national unrest guy at half price, level one. Uh, we can't really afford them right now, so we'll just take the devotion instead because we are losing oodles of money here. How many loans do we have? Seven. I want to push this war further. I really do. Granted, they are low already, but we can't get too much out of it as is. Secrets in our alliance, 50% chance of death in getting spy network is not a worry at all. Right, aggressive expansion impact, I should probably take. Uh, we have that one already. Yeah, I think I'll do that. They're back. Come on, if you succeed here, that would be very nice. Uh, before they actually arrive and try to dislodge you. Yeah, they're a bit too far away for me to reinforce here, even though I saw them move in there. Okay, recall the diplomat and yet another loan. Build this by network here, just do that for now. Exploration done. We have two or three orders left to do. Three. All right, and you has had one coast and two seas, so that's probably five orders, or options rather, left to do. Yeah, they got this launched. Lahore has been clearing out these one stacks over here, it looks like. Come on, if we can get our siege to fall our way here. That would be very nice. Then we can go and chase down these guys yet again. Okay, they're building a lot of troops.
Don't know how long I want to push this though. You're walking into these guys. No, okay, they changed their minds. Good, this is mountains, it is, so they're all coming at us, maybe. Maybe. Siege, nope. We're chasing these guys around. And they seem to catch him here. Mongolia loses out. Yeah, they're catching them here, it looks like. Yep. Which means we will try to uh, intercept, maybe. Yeah, no, they'll lose before we actually get there. No, what they're gonna be reinforced by other other allies, Lahore. So maybe we'll get there before the fight is over. Ooh, that full. But we do catch him. Excellent. Then we head here, take care of these guys. Now the only thing that's bothering me in this f war here currently is the fact that we are losing a lot of money. A lot of money. So, I'm thinking that I should take the marks, consolidate them, and merge them again, and therefore we are now just one over, okay. Fine then. Uh, take the marks, take the other guys, Split in half and merge these guys down. Okay, now we're 18 out of 18. That will lower the cost somewhat. Where are we going? Oh, they have so many forts. It's a really, really uh, annoying, and I wonder how they can afford that. Um, don't know where we're going with these guys. Can I help out here? Right, I'm only at 33%. So how exactly many more points? Yeah, about 50 points. That is not enough, I think. Am I that greedy? Yes, I am. Session oh, was still quite hot high. Granted, if I were to take a piece deal right now, clear offer, and I would definitely want reward reparations. I have to give you something. You're happy with that. And then return course. Oh, that's my course there here that you will take but then you will not give me anything else that is not really enough for me is it no oh, I guess we're pushing a bit further granted I might get into going bankrupt again territory Hopefully we won't get that far. Renewing war taxes is a given, especially since it's free. 
Okay, they're at the fort, and we're gonna take this one before they take that one, hopefully. Exploration done. Alright, and coast. Anyway, I actually think I will take a break here and carry on with this war in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.